As you can see in this figure, each application in Android runs in its own instance of Dalvik virtual machine. This is why anytime any application in our device crashes, it simply shows a force close or wait option. But the other applications continue running smoothly. Also, since each application is running in its own instance, it won't be able to access the other application's data unless otherwise specified by the content providers. Android uses a fine-grained permission model which requires the application to predefine the permission before compiling the final application package. You must have noticed that every time you download applications from the Play Store or any other source, it shows a permission screen while installing, which looks similar to the following screenshot. This permission screen shows a list of all the tasks that the application can do with the phone, such as accessing the location, accessing the internet, and accessing the contacts. An Android application developer has to specify all of these permissions while developing the application in a file called AndroidManifest.xml. 